Why are you in school? Yes, what's motivating you to get up every single day to go to school, whether it's middle school, high school, or college? What's moving you to not only go to school, but what's moving you to study STEM subjects? In this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do to stay motivated in school, especially in STEM. Welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Hey, 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 I'm Cantus Simmons and welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. If this is your very first time here at the Cantus Simmons Show, welcome. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Maybe you're listening to this on, you know, your Apple or your, your, your Google phone. Welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. It's all designed to help you succeed in school and help you succeed in life. And today, uh, we're going to talk about how to stay motivated in STEM Science, technology, engineering, and math. Why? Uh, first of all, I'm a STEM baby, and I understand that I attract many people who are interested in STEM. And I'm going to give you three things today that you can use to stay motivated in school. Now, maybe you are a teacher. Hey, you can use this information to help your students. Maybe you are a parent. You can use the same information to help your son or your daughter. Uh, but while you're here, I'm going to give you two amazing gifts. Number one, I want to give you a free copy of my best-selling book, uh, Play Your A-Game. It's all about how to stay motivated, remain focused, and succeed in school and life. And actually, I've been talking about a few things out of this book. But just because you're here, if you want a free copy of my book, simply go over to playyouragamebook.com. Playyouragamebook.com. Also, I want to be so kind uh, to give you access to my study skills program. Yes, uh, it's a free seven-day study skills challenge where I help you with study tips to get through uh, the school year every single day, developing the right habits so you can play your A-game, right? So if you want access to that study skills program, simply go over to cantasimmons.com forward slash study skills. Yes, cantasimmons.com forward slash study skills. If you want a copy of the book, simply go over to playyouragamebook.com. Let me know where to uh, ship it. There's a small shipping and handling fee, but I just want to be a blessing to you because you are here today. So let's talk about it. How can you stay motivated in STEM? How can you stay motivated to walk out a STEM degree? How can you stay motivated to study a subject that you love, but then how can you stay motivated to study a subject that may be a little challenging for you? Now, uh, if you've ever heard my story, I grew up as a STEM baby, always loved STEM. Um, when I was in the fifth grade, I did a little small project on a company called KIA. Yeah, in the fifth grade, I was studying this company that was using different materials, plastics and polymers to develop cars. They wanted to reduce the amount of manufacturing costs by using different type of materials. And that company today is better known as Kia. Yeah, back in the fifth grade, KIA was the thing that sparked me. And then on, I went from loving STEM, coming through high school in, in STEM, going to college in STEM, where I got a BS degree in chemistry, uh, ended up going to Norfolk State University in Virginia. Shout out, behold the green and gold. Uh, after leaving Norfolk State University, I went to Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, got a master's of science degree in polymer science and engineering. And then I got another degree from Georgia Tech in textile and fiber engineering. Three amazing college degrees, all on scholarships. Maybe we'll talk about that later, how I got scholarships, how I'm helping other people with scholarships. Matter of fact, I'll put a little link up here somewhere if you can get access to that material there on how to find scholarships in STEM. All right. But then while going through college, I had an amazing opportunity to uh, work on a summer research project at NASA Langley Research Center in Virginia. And the small company KIA and all of the experiences through college 
gave me the opportunity to say, you know what? I would love to explore NASA. I started working in undergrad as a summer research student. Uh, when I went to grad, student, grad school, they ended up uh, being one of my research, uh, I had a research fellowship from them. And then uh, after coming out of school, ended up working some years at NASA, working in the laboratory in the polymers division, doing great research, working on some really cool projects. Now, why do I say all of that? Because at the end of the day, there was something that had to keep me motivated. There was something that had to keep me motivated. There we go. Keep me motivated to pursue the STEM degree, to pursue, to pursue the STEM career and go through those subjects up and down, in and out, calculus, chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, trigonometry, advanced physics, like all of those, like those subjects, right? So what is it about you that you can do to stay motivated in STEM or in school? The same thing applies for school. But I'll give you three cool things, three cool, three, three, three cool things here, right? Three cool things. Number one, when we look at this word motivation, motivation, all right? Uh, there are a few things in this word motivation. Now, let me share this quick story with you, right? Um, let's say, well, it's not a story. It's, it's a thought. Uh, let's say I was walking down a river. And as I was walking down a river with my mother, but let's say if I was walking down the river, my mom and I um, noticed that my phone fell out of my pocket and my phone fell into the river. Now my mom and I see the phone falling out of my pocket, falling into the river. Now I may be tempted to jump into the phone, jump into the river to retrieve my phone. It's an iPhone 13. They'll probably have an iPhone 14 soon. But let's say if I was walking down the same river and my mother fell in the river. Now, I will have a bigger motive or be more motivated to jump into the river. My mom versus my iPhone. My iPhone 13 versus my precious mom. Here's the first thing that I want you to do. First thing to ask yourself to stay motivated. What's your big why? Yeah, what's your big why? What is it about science, technology, engineering, and math that is moving you to even pursue that, that curriculum track, right? I know there are many different subjects, but why do you want to study science? Why do you want to go into engineering? Well, if we can say STEM and STEAM, why do you want to go into arts? What's your big why? When we look at that word motivation, in the middle of that word, you see the word motive. What's your motive? What's your big why for getting up, going to school every single day, every single semester, every single quarter? What's moving you? What's causing you to jump in every single day? Maybe you're a teacher and you're watching this for your student. Hey, what's your why for teaching this damn subject? What's moving you to help other people that are not even your own kids to pursue their academic and their career goals? So as you're watching this, I want you to take some time to write down what's your big why. Only you know what it is because it's going to be that why that's now going to move you to keep doing what you do, right? We look at my mother falling in the water versus an iPhone. My mom is precious to me. My mom has supported me. My mom has loved me. My mom has raised me. But because... My mom fell into the water. I will do whatever it takes to jump into the water. And where you were concerned in academics, what's your why? Number two, who are you doing this for? You know, sometimes when we look at our own motivation or the things that we do and why we do them, sometimes I realize that if we connect it to a person, then now we'll be more motivated to take that jump, to take that leap. You know, I think about the story walking down the river. My mom falling in the river. Okay, why am I jumping in the water? I'm jumping in the water because my mom fell in the water. Who am I doing it for? I'm doing it for my mom. <laughs> I'm doing it for my dad. 
who's my mom's husband, my mom's, yeah, my my father, who's my mom's husband. I'm doing it for my siblings. I'm doing it for my cousins, my grandmother. Why? Because we all know how precious my mom is. So let me ask you, why are you pursuing STEM? Why are you going down this track? And who are you doing it for? Are you doing it to please your parents? Or maybe you're doing it because you want to solve a big problem with research. Maybe you live on a farm and grandmama or granddaddy left you the farm and you know that by getting your education, by getting a career, you can now do some amazing things to uh, be more productive on the farm. Maybe you have this amazing gift that um, a dear cousin has always supported you with. And maybe that support, maybe that cousin wasn't able to reach some of their goals, but now you want to do it for them. Maybe you say, you know what? I want to do it for my future kids. I want to do it for my legacy. Who are you doing it for? Why are you doing this? And then who are you doing this for? And then the last question is this. Who can help you do it better? Yes, who can help you do it better? I believe mentorship. I believe relationship. I believe we are put together not to be an island all by ourselves. We are designed to have relationship and connection with other people. You know, I often think about um, Super Bowl champions. I think about NBA basketball champions, World Series champions, go Braves. And I think about there is a reason the number one team is the number one team. Like this past year, the L.A. Rams won the World Series. Um, I believe the Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA championship. The Atlanta Braves won the World Series. They were the number one people. But I really can't think about who was the number two all the time. I got to really think about it. Who's the person that can help you become the best at doing what you do? Study the number one person. Who's the number one person around you that can help you get better grades in school? Who's the person around you that can push you and, and motivate you to continue to go on every school year? Who's the person around you that maybe you can see their career and based on what they're doing in STEM, it motivates you that you can do more in STEM. So who's the person that's helping you do it better? Who's the person that's keeping you accountable? Who's the person that you can lean on? Who's the person that you can talk to when you get down, when you have challenges, when you get frustrated, when you get apathetic and you want to give up? Who's the person that you can go to? I believe you can have an amazing school year. Yes, you. You can have an amazing school year, but you must understand your motive. What's your why? Who are you doing it for? And who can help you do it better? If you want to succeed in life, I believe it's based on this thing. This is how I define success. Find something that you absolutely love to do. Get so good at doing what you do by going to school, getting degrees, reading books, get mentors, going to workshops. Get so good at what you uh, love to do that people are now willing to pay you money for it. Pay you great money for it to do what you do. And what you do is that now with your money, with your resources, with your wisdom, you're now making the world a better place. That's how I define success. And if you're going to be a STEM student, if you're going to be a STEM professional, you must understand your why, who you're doing it for. And I challenge you to connect with somebody who can help you do it better. Listen, I'm Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. And hopefully that was a blessing to you. Hopefully that was something that you can think about. And listen, you know, just because you're here, uh, be so kind to share this message with somebody else. Hey, simply share that, like this, heart this. Also, if you want a free copy of my book, Play Your A Game, I go into more details on how to stay motivated, remain focused in school and really succeed with some study tips. Hey, go over to Play Your A Game book. 
playyourabook.com, playyourabookbook.com. Or if you want access to my study skills course, simply go over to cantissimmons.com forward slash study skills. For the next seven days, I would love to give you a study tip every single day so you can improve what you're doing in school and get those good, amazing grades so you can play your A game. All right, listen, I'm all about helping you. If there's any way that I can support you, hey, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to this video. Hey, connect with me on other social platforms. Even if you want me to come to your school, your organization, or your event to inspire your audience, hey, simply let me know over at CantusSimmons.com. Hey, remember this. There's only one game in life that counts, and that's to play your A game. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.